welcome back guys so we are back with our question 21 and here let us solve this part c of it okay so as we have promised we are going to solve this part of it today so let me use this one so we have here c plus cd and multiply it with c plus c prime d and c plus e Okay. So, we have this expression. Here we can see that very easily this C is common in between these two. So, let me take it common here. So, by taking it common what I will get? I will get here 1 plus T and all the terms will remain same Okay, and C plus E. So, what is this? As we have previously seen that according to the Boolean algebra, 1 plus x is always equal to 1. So, it is, it will be applied here. Okay, It can be applied here and we will see that we will get what? We will get c multiplied by 1. Okay, And here also we have c plus c prime d and c plus e okay also we will see that we can see that this is c and here we have c plus c prime d and also c plus e now uh, taking this term this c and multiplying it with all the terms which are inside here so what will i get i will get here let me solve it here I will get here c dot c plus c dot c prime d okay so it will be here and here we will have c plus e so now according to rules of the boolean algebra what we have here we can see that x dot x is always x and x dot x prime is always zero Okay, so now applying it here, what I will get applying this rule here, okay, and here we can apply this rule. Okay. So, what I will get here, let me write it here, I will get here C and also here I will get 0 dot D, okay, and here we will have C plus E. Okay, so now this will also become 0. This will also become 0 and 0 plus 8 will also give me this C and here I will have this C plus E. Okay, so now uh, this is the simplified expression because uh, if I will open it and uh, try to simplify it at the end i will also get this one but i think this is the simplified version and it cannot be more simplified so here we have the simplified expression which is written here so this is the answer of what part c here okay so uh, this is the answer of part c similarly now we have some other questions and i strongly encourage you guys to solve this part D and part E as well because these are the two very easy parts of our question. So if you guys find it difficult to solve it, please ask me in the comment box to solve it for you as well because I found these two parts very easy because you can use here, here what De Morgan's law. De Morgan's law will be used here and similarly in part E here what do we have to do we have to open these okay brackets and uh, before opening these what we have to do we have to multiply this D prime with this all these terms here and at the end first we have to open this uh, these small brackets and at the end we have to open these square brackets okay so uh, i think these questions are now easy for you to solve if you also found them difficult to solve please ask me in the comment box and i will solve them as well in our separate video so uh, that's it for the boolean algebra for the expression simplification 
and i hope it's enough for today and from our next video we will proceed to the other questions of our book so i think it's enough for today and uh, i will see you with some more examples and some more interesting questions in our upcoming video till then take care of yourself and i will see you soon